Can you tell me why investors should get excited about this project? I get your pragmatic uh, and diligent approach to how this project should be tackled. The share price has done what it's done. It's done it for lots of people, but how are you gonna fix that? What are, the, what are the things that people should go away thinking when they think of oil and mining? Sure, so I think you know, what I would leave you with is the value creation story has just begun at Orla. Uh, investors that are looking for an early entry point should be looking at Orla. You know, we will, um, uh, as I've stated, create value through our exploration resources uh, that feed a sequence of developments uh, that result in a portfolio of cash producing assets. To do that, you need prospective ground, uh, you need development capability. Um, I and, and other members of the management team bring that. Uh, and you need operating knowledge. So Orla's board, uh, the management team, and our key shareholders who I've, I've spoken about provide that. And that's, uh, that's what will generate value at Orla uh, in a much different sort of uh, level than it, than it currently resides. What do you mean when you say that in terms of they will do what it takes to create value for shareholders. I mean, what, 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 are they, what are the things that you're going to say to the market which is going to get people excited about the portfolio, the prospecting, etc.? The contacts, the um, knowledge of the assets around the world that, uh, that the board of directors has, uh, uh, some of the key members of the management team have, uh, you know, will create that, uh, um, you know, um, starting place of ground that 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 delivers these things the and and then and then the you know good geological ground can only bring you so far mm -hmm. uh, then you need to have people have expertise in in turning that uh, interesting geological prospect into uh, a cash producing asset uh, so when you when you when you bring those different uh, uh, pieces of turf together with people that can develop them uh, and then, uh, and then supported by shareholders, uh, and frankly, to a, to a certain extent, uh, board members who are willing to put their own money into developing uh, and and creating that. Uh, well, I know Pierre's bought previously at one forty four and one seventy seven, so he, you know, he's 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 underwater here. He needs us to work, and I'm sure, as you say, continue to support this. But it is a case of what are those dis decision points? for you in terms of talking to the market and delivering to the market this vision of what the future of the business looks like? I mean, where do you end up? What, what is the company that you're gonna be like? Yeah, the, you know, so the focus of the business is, as, as I tried to describe, produce benefit for stakeholders. Most often that benefit is a monetary measurement. So for shareholders, it would be measured by the share price, by governments, their tax income, by employees, their pay, and by communities, the economic contribution to their way of life. And so what I would tell people going forward is that we have provided benefit at all those levels in, in doing what we do. Uh, our, our business is measured monetarily, so we need to produce cash. The business that we happen to be in is gold mining. So the way that we can produce cash and all of those other benefits that I described that that cash pays for uh, is by building gold mines um, and operating gold mines. And so, um, you know, if you wish to increase the size of that benefit, wish to uh, increase the spread of that benefit, uh, you need to, uh, to build and operate gold mines. And, and that's what we will do. And, and over time, what I'll describe in talks like this and to the shareholders is, is our success in executing on that. Um, and, uh, and, uh, you know, and, and, and the, and the market, uh, uh, will understand. And, and you think, uh, what do you think gold's going to do this year? I think a, an answer you've often heard, and one I certainly agree with, is is responsible mining companies need to be building mines in whatever commodity um, that understand the commodity cycle. And uh, and we'll build mines, at, as, you, as we described earlier in the, in the interview, a mine that has a, a, a cash cost uh, well under half uh, the gold price. So we can harvest a lot of cash from such, uh, such a business. Uh, so those are the types of projects that we'll get uh, started in and develop and operate. Um, and so in a business that produces a lot of cash, um, you know, the gold price tends to become uh, less important. Um, 
when when you get into a business that the the operating costs are much closer to the gold price, then you're really waiting on a on an ascending gold price uh, and the leverage towards that. Um, so so I'll, I'll duck your question a little bit and say uh, we'll only pick and build and operate uh, gold mines that uh, that have a cash cost well below um, today's and even lower gold prices. No, that's, that's not ducking the question at all. I think that's a great answer.